<laughs> hey, what's up, guys? I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm Michael Chanel. And today we are comparing the iPad Mini 2 and the Samsung Galaxy Tab S2 8.0. So Michael recently got uh, an iPad Mini 2, and I recently got this Samsung Galaxy Tab S2 8.0, like I said, uh, and this is basically the Android flagship competitor with the iPad Mini. Um, Samsung changed the new Galaxy Tabs to have the 4x3 screen aspect ratio that the iPads have. We thought it would be interesting just to take a look at these two devices and see how they, they match up. Um, so how, how have... Your experience has been with the iPad Mini 2 so far. Um, well, first off, I just want to say you almost bought this this tablet, didn't you? I almost bought an iPad Mini. Yeah. I think I would have gone with the 3, because this was back when the 3 was the newest one. Yeah. Um, just because I like to have fancy things. Well, I didn't. But, I, it was a birthday present for yeah. me, so I really didn't have much choice in that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, some, I'll take it. I had actually <laughs> forgotten. I thought you had the 3, so we can't compare the, the uh, fingerprint readers, but that's all right. No. Uh, but yeah, how's that been? Um, it's been, it's been great. Um... So you use iOS for your phone? Yeah, and I have. So you're used to that. I have a five iPhone five S. Um, so I'm very used to iOS. I have yeah. never owned a single Android device. Yeah, and I'm more. I've gotten a few Android phones. So, um, uh, as my second Android. I've tablet. had no problems with this. Um, I did get Likewise, it. Likewise, yeah. No problems with this so far. <laughs> um, they did just push out iOS nine recently, so have you gotten that on? Yeah, I have that on both of my all awesome. of my Apple devices. Yeah, that'll support it. I've got some old ones that won't, but um, I've had I've heard a lot of people having problems with iOS nine. I have not, so yeah, this got an update to Android five point lollipop. I think it came with five point lollipop actually. Um, I'm not sure. I think it got an update to five point one as soon as five point one came out. But yeah, we'll just take a look at the hardware first. So obviously the iPad mini is a bit rounded um, on the edges. And let's compare on the back. The uh, We can see the front. Uh, the screens are, like I said, the same aspect ratio. This is an 8-inch screen. That's an 8-inch screen, right? I think. I think they're exactly yeah. the same size screen. Do you know the resolution of that? Um, I do not. This I... is a 1440p screen. Yours is a retina screen. I think that mine might have a slightly higher DPI than yours, but since they're both retina, the DPI doesn't really matter because you can't tell. So Michael's looking through that. Uh, if we look at the front of the devices, both of them have home home buttons on the bottom and cameras on the top. Uh, the camera on mine is a little off-centered because it also has the Samsung logo on the top and Michael's just has the camera Center. in the middle. And then mine also has the Android multitasking and back buttons on the bottom. Whereas Michael's just has the one home button. So, yeah, let's... I want to see how how heavy these are compared to each other. Okay. Um, do you know... Do the new iPad minis get lighter or heavier than these? Um, that's if, the newest... I, that's the, the newest iPad mini that I've even looked at. All right. My brother has the original mini. Yeah. And I believe that one is a little bit lighter. Yeah, we both have the black versions of these devices. Obviously, Apple sells these space gray things. Not exactly completely black. Um, anymore, but you can take a look at both of them. Because I remember, oh, that that is much lighter than than this one for yeah. sure. And even though it went, when I was just holding that, I didn't think it was much much lighter. But when you're holding these yeah. for long periods of time, it really does make a difference. Um, so yeah, I was super impressed with how how light this is. How let's look at how thin these are next to each other. What do you? Um, mine's you definitely think? thicker for sure. Yeah, well, that's let's send them down. Yeah. I know the camera won't be able to see this, but mm -hmm. you you guys can take our word for it. Uh, Yours is a yeah, good. Mine's uh, it's a, a couple Two, millimeters yeah. thinner. I don't think it's too much thinner. Like I said, Michael's has the rounded, slightly rounded edges on the back, whereas mine, you can pick mine up. It's got yeah. it's got the corners, the hard corners on the back. And then, of course, the back of the iPad mini is metal. This is aluminum, right? Uh, yes, um, I think so. And then the back of mine is a rubberized texture, which, um, I don't know, I worried about actually this getting or feeling cold to hold the metal on the back. It doesn't really feel cold at all. Um, but yeah, you can, you know, see yeah. there's rubber on the back of mine. Well, in terms of that, you know, I I know you're not a believer in cases, but I break everything. I don't put a case on. Oh, so. that's right. Michael's been using his iPad mini in a case, whereas I've been using this without a case. Yeah, you know, my philosophy is people de design <laughs> these devices to be used without a case. So yeah, I want to use it the way it was designed. I, I agree with you on that, but yeah. I don't want to break it either. So. Yeah. It's, it's not it's not worth it to me because I I actually when I first got this one, um, 
my parents lost the case, and ah. I didn't have it for like two days, and I literally felt like I was gonna break it. So yeah. it's just for me, let's, it's you know nice to have. So yeah, let's look at the footprint of these on top of each other. Uh, maybe I don't know if we can. Like I said, camera's not gonna get too great of a, a shot of this, but it's just about the same. Look at the footprint. Yeah, the footprint's about the same. Not really any different. Uh, one thing that I don't like about this as much as I liked about the Nexus Seven um, was this. This is an extremely small bezel on each side of the screen. And I can see it's the same small bezel on, on each side of the iPad. When you've been holding the iPad, sometimes when I hold this like this, mm -hmm. you know, my thumb can't be here because it's on the screen and it messes with mm -hmm. it. Have you run into that problem? Well, again, because I have it when in a case, stuff, it's oh, a little that's different. Right. But I could, that would definitely yeah. be a problem, I would say. Yeah. I find myself, like, I used to always read in portrait mode. Mm -hmm. And you can palm these tablets. These tablets are small enough to hold in one hand. But for long periods of time, you like to grip them by the bezel, or I do. Yeah. And so I used to always read in portrait mode. I found myself reading in landscape mode just because it's easier to hold the tablet like this because the bezel's on uh, bigger on the top and bottom. But yeah, the, the bezel size and the screen size are actually surprisingly similar, Yeah, which makes sense because, like I said, Samsung modeled this device off of the iPad <laughs> mini. So um, yeah, on the back, the camera on the back of the, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S2 Sticks out a little bit, whereas the camera on the back of the iPad Mini that's pretty much completely flush. I don't want to, you know. Touch. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, Michael, it's completely it. flat. <laughs> uh, yeah. So when I set this down, I always kind of worry a little bit about, you know, messing that screwing up, screwing up with yeah. the camera sticking out. So yeah, that's as far as hardware goes. These are actually super similar. Now the iPad Mini has a a mute switch. Is that what that is? Yeah, that's. Yeah, it's the same as on the iPhone. Yeah, so you know, when you, what is it? Turns your ringer off. Turns the ringer on and off, okay. Yeah, or, so like notifications. Yeah. Well, um, it, yeah, mine does not have one of those. That has a power button where? It, it, um, the same as the lock button. All right, so yeah. power button's on same the Same as top. on the iPhone. Yeah, I meant, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the power button on mine is where the ringer is on the iPad mini. Um, and so mine has the power button and then volume up and volume down. Android devices tend to have the power buttons on the side these days. For some reason. Where's your headphone port? Uh, headphone port for mine is on the bottom. And, um, oops, turn it on there. A little early. <laughs> uh, and y is your headphone port in the middle? Mine's on the side, on the top. Bottom, oh, side of the top. All right, so yeah, my headphone port's on the bottom of the device. And then you can see on the bottom of the iPad mini, the lightning connector, that is a lightning connector, yes, right? Yes, it is a lightning, lightning connector. is right in the middle of that device, whereas this... Um, this was interesting. This is the first device I've had where the USB, the micro USB port is not in the center of this device. It's actually offset. It's over here, and then the headphone jack is over here on the other side. And then the top of mine has just a little mic. I think the mic on this one's on the back. Um, yeah, and then how how about speakers? Mine has one speaker on each side of the bottom of I've the device. It. Yep, same here. And same there. Mine are a little more spaced out. Because mine have the ports in between them. But yours look, those look bigger. Let me see yours. So, I don't yeah. know, maybe we can do a sound test with a YouTube video or something yeah. in a little bit. But if we turn the devices on, um, obviously mine's a slightly newer device. It's got a fingerprint sensor. The newer iPad Minis have fingerprint sensors. You can see it says no match there. Sometimes it takes me a couple tries to get the fingerprint sensor to register. Does your iPhone have a fingerprint sensor? Uh, yes, it does. All right. <laughs> How's that work? Because um, we can't compare fingerprint well, sensors with these. Does it usually work um, on the first try? Or? I've had zero issues with the fingerprint sensor on my iPhone. It yeah, it works every time. Yeah, my, this doesn't necessarily work every single time, but it's it's still pretty darn quick. You know, I just turn it on and do that. Yeah, mine's yeah. As long as you get your finger on and the right, even, it's fine. I brought up the iPhone because yeah. this is sort of an Apple versus Android video, yeah. uh, just as much as it's comparing these two specific devices. Because I did, I had forgotten that uh, you have the slightly older version of that tablet. But mm -hmm. hardware-wise, the only difference between the iPad Mini 2 and the 3 is the fingerprint sensor. This iPad Mini 2 has the same processor and everything as the iPad Mini 3. So even though the iPad Mini 4 was just announced... This is still a pretty up-to-date comparison of the, you know, quote-unquote latest Apple and Android models. So, yeah, if we turn the devices on, uh, go ahead. A, there was one more thing I wanted to bring uh, up. Yeah, sure. How's, uh, how's battery life? Battery life is, well, this I think is going to be a little different between me and mm -hmm. you. I am able to get a week of battery life out of this. I only use it for three, about an average of three hours per day. I'm um, not, a and the screen heavy brightness type. is usually way down too. Mine's at about my screen brightness. I usually keep it about well, it's not half now, but it's it's usually about halfway. Yeah. Um, I can get about three days out of this. All but right. I will yeah. say, 
when we went on our recent band trip, this yeah. lasted. How long was that trip? How many hours on a bus? It's like oh, five there, yeah. five back. It lasted all the way there, all and right. just doing you know yeah. music and playing uh-huh. some games. So yeah. I'm very very happy with the battery on this this iPad. So. Yeah. Yeah, usually my screen brightness is down around like 10%, because usually I'm using this when the lights in the room are off, and you want the screen brightness low, it's so it doesn't blind that you. That reminds that normally. But, it's probably um, kind of hard to see that. Let's go ahead and set both of them to middle, just so that we can have some consistency in the video. And if we go to the home screen, then we can compare home screens. <laughs> so obviously iOS home screen is just a grid of icons, and I haven't used iOS in so long, so I, I can't say, you know... How long has it been? About that. It's been since I haven't used iOS since I was using that iPod Touch fourth gen, which was a really long time <laughs> and ago. I still I have still have mine. So yeah, and then Android obviously I've got uh, widgets. Um, I've got a clock and weather widget on the top of the screen, and then I've got just a few icons spread out on the home screen, and then the dock at the bottom, just like he's got the dock at the bottom of his. Um, but mine also has an app tray, of course, that opens up a list of all of my apps. So yeah, um, maybe we should bring the camera in a little tighter, mm-hmm. point it down to get a little bit more side-by-side side comparison. All right, so like I said, we are now with the camera pointed right toward the screens. Uh, so like we said, hardware is pretty darn similar between the two devices. I'll just you know, flip them around one more time so they can see those because we were over there. On the other side of the room, you can flip yours around. Um, yeah, not sure how well this video is gonna come out, but kind of turn it sideways. So, or not like that, whatever. That's fine. <laughs> All right, so back to the screens, comparing software. Um, so yeah, like I said, obviously home screens are different. iOS just has several pages of apps, whereas Android has the app drawer. And I am only using one home screen right now on this device. Um, you know, second home screen is obviously blank. And yeah, um, now iOS devices, if you pick this up and like, twist it around doesn't the home screen like shift kind of yeah it'll it'll go sideways yeah huh no no no, not like that which way like if the doesn't the wallpaper slide around or something oh yeah that's what you meant yeah that crazy thing <laughs> now there's a motion coprocessor inside of that that's that's doing that right that detects all of that um, Android devices usually, they, they, none of them have that. Usually an Android device, when you swipe different home screens, then the home screen actually like moves a little bit, you know, to the left and to the right. It's called, I don't know what it's called. Um, but you know what I mean, where the, the wallpaper would actually shift mm-hmm. when you swipe between screens. Uh, this is using TouchWiz, Samsung's version of Android, so it's not doing that, you know. You can see the, the wallpaper staying exactly in the same spot. So that's just a Samsung thing that they decided that that's better, apparently. The notification areas in both of these devices. Now, you've got a notification bar on the top, or a notification center on the top. And this is one thing I'm, I'm not quite sure how I like the way that iOS does it, is one of the things that, that keeps me on Android, is that iOS, you've got notifications at the top, and then you have a quick settings thing if you pull up from the bottom of the screen, right? Mm. Whereas Android, you've got notifications would be here and then quick settings all in the same area um so yeah i don't know how do you how often do you use the notification center you've got a lot of notifications you haven't dismissed yet i never use the notification center yeah it's it just, just seems something like, i don't get in the habit it of just doing. seems like it, they would build up a lot because i know when i was using my ipod touch a while ago i would never check the notifications and then when i accidentally slide the notification center down then it would it would have just a ton of notifications that i'd have to to dismiss so yeah Notifying him that, that things are updated and everything. What is updated? <laughs> uh, Apple Store was updated. Banking, uh, yeah. Planning Center, and Pro Presenter Remote. <laughs> and, yeah, I use the Notification Center on my Android devices. For better or for worse, I, I always check the notifications. And, uh, yeah. They did bring this back in iOS 9. Ah, there is a feature of this tablet, and it is called Briefing. And we can actually go here if we check that, go back home. Now there's a little thing. Um, now on a Nexus device, Google Now would be to the left of the home screen, uh, which is like, you know, Android version of Siri. But since this is a Samsung device, Samsung has their own thing called briefing. And it's where you put in your preferences and they give you like news stories just like yours mm-hmm. has there. Um, I have not turned that on because if you click start reading, 
you have to accept these terms of use and privacy <laughs> policy. And you know how I feel about privacy policies. Yes. Um, I don't like to accept privacy policies when I don't need to. So I have briefing turned off so it actually doesn't go anywhere. Um, how often do you use the, the search and everything? Um, do you ever click on any of the news or is that just kind of there? Well, I've only, that's new with iOS 9. I've only had it for about a week. So oh, it's hard oh to did say. they just add the yeah. news in iOS 9? Well, All for, right. for, I think when, since when iOS 7 came out, you were no longer able to swipe this way. Oh, like that's they, right. They, they had it, it swiped down from the top. Yeah, so this is brand new right. with well, this it's, update. You know, quote yeah. unquote brand new, they added it back yeah. from a while ago. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, it does have more features than it did. It yeah. was just the search before. Yeah. So I believe it's yeah, it was. so it long was. since I've used iOS 6. Yeah. I have a device with it on there. But yeah, iOS 6 music. had just the search. Um, but yeah, iOS 9 now has some news stories and stuff. Like I said, what, when I had my Nexus, um, to the left of the home screen was Google Now, and Google Now does that too. It searches the device, but it also like suggests news stories based on what your searches are. Uh, how does this perform? I have not noticed any significant lag with, with mine at all. How um, is yours? Been? I've had no issues. What kind of stuff do you use yours for? Like I said, I use mine for watching oh. YouTube, Netflix, and reading Nook and reading All of those things. But the other thing I do that you don't do is all the remote applications that I use right. at church with stuff. So, like, yeah. ProPresenter is an application used for stuff in worship services. So that's a remote control for that. This is to control a video switcher. So... Mm -hmm. So, so neither of us do yeah. use like games or heavy um, duty things. I have a few games on here, but nothing, nothing do, major. Do they stutter a lot or? I've had no issues. My, I, I'm kind of iOS scarred. Um, if you can't tell, I'm really considering getting an iPhone, uh, like within the next few months. So I'm really trying to think about the whole iOS versus Android thing. But last time I used iOS, it was on my my iPod Touch fourth generation, and. It was, you know, I got that iPod and I had it for years and after upgrading iOS several times and having it for years, it just started lagging so badly. It was a really bad experience. Um, but this doesn't have a lot of problems no. lagging. Well, I just will say the same usage. thing happened to me when I got my iPhone 4. I, ah. Well, when I had that, I put iOS 7 on it yeah. and it just slowed way down. But as the updates came out, it got a little bit better. But right. my dad still uses that phone to this day, so it's usable, yeah. but... I've had no issues. But this thing is pretty smooth yeah. and everything. No issues. All right. Um, multitasking. So if I open up, let's say, the clock app, which I use this as my alarm clock, and then I open up. I use Opera as my browser right now, so if I open that up. Um, to switch back and forth, Android has a dedicated multitasking button, and you can scroll through and see all of your apps. Swipe that one away. And you can just pick between them. I actually don't like the new Android multitasking setup. Um, the old one was a flat list that you could scroll through. The new one is this 3D carousel. Um, but yeah, how's the, the new iOS um, work? So you're using Chrome. So Yeah, Chrome. Um, Makes sense. So I'll just open up a couple of, couple of things here. Um, so you've got this... This, they changed in iOS. All right, so well. when you so double got, tap, it's now a, mm -hmm. this is a vertical carousel, yeah, and this is a horizontal, horizontal carousel. That It looks like that's, the effects are a little, I don't know, just a yeah, little Yeah, if you look, bumpy. if you watch the black bar, yeah, uh, it's not doing it now, but I don't remember if yeah, I, now it's, so. it's yeah. not as bad, but it, when it was on iOS 8, it didn't do that. Yeah, so. and I'm sure that those are things that can be fixed with software updates, uh, brand new, you know, The one thing they transition. did add that I really like... Let's see if it's in Chrome yet. If you they added this, right where you can swipe. Yeah. In so here's from Safari, but side. not all the apps are supported yet. More. Oh, and then you can can so, you dock another app there? Yes. Or I thought that was only for the iPad Air, and the iPad Pro. So I didn't. I'll open Pro Remote for example. Oh, but now while that's open, can you use the other? Okay, so it's not doing both at no. once. No. So the iPad Air, you can actually be using both at once. Yeah. You know? So. Um, but this is a thing where it's you can, a lot better than not having it at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so Samsung actually, Android, they're just adding a a use two things at the same time feature that's not actually out yet. Mm -hmm. Samsung has one that's out. So if I open up the Clock app, um, if I press and hold that. At the what? What am I? What am? Okay, oh. so now I've got it in a window, and then I can use stuff behind it. Oh, that's cool. And use it. That wasn't what I was trying to do, but yeah, nice to uh, to see. So if I go ahead and close out of that, there's a a split pane thing on here that I can use. Maybe the clock app just doesn't work with it. Let me see if I can get another app to do it. Um, calendar. So 
Yeah, here we go. So see the calendar app has this little icon there. And if I tap that, then the calendar app goes to the top and then it gives me recently used apps on the bottom screen, but none of my recently used apps support this. So not all apps support the split view, but I can put like, oh, I can put YouTube on the bottom. So now I can see the calendar and YouTube at the same time. That would be more useful for if I was, um, oh, oh, I guess I can uh, change how much the screen is taken up by either app. This would be more useful if I was watching a YouTube video and taking notes on it. I know that's something that I've wanted to do in the past before I had this tablet, um, watch you know, a WWDC keynote and take notes on it at the same time. Something like that would be useful. So um, yeah, so that's the multitasking on the Samsung device. Um, so yeah, it just resizes the one app and then I'm gonna use two at the same time. So that's cool, I think. Um, what else should we talk about? <laughs> There's not a lot to compare. You wanna do the speakers? You're oh about yeah, that? sure. So let's load up YouTube. Uh, what video Whoops. should we use for reference? Your channel trailer. Uh, okay. So we'll go ahead and go to, why don't I? There should be a way for me to. There we go. So if we go to the Nerd on the Street channel, I don't know where my channel trailer is. <laughs> oh, here it is. Nope. The new. How's the YouTube app on the i on the i? Uh, it's it's great. Can I? Yeah. They recently changed. All right. So that's still how the old one was, on here. So there used to be that sidebar. Now they changed it so that you've just got these three columns that you swipe between, like your subscriptions are in the middle. I wish they would just get rid of the home screen and just give me my subscriptions right away, you know? Uh, Cause I, I don't know about you, I never watch the recommended videos. I always just go straight to my subscriptions. Well half the time they don't mean anything. Yeah. <laughs> they don't make any sense. Uh, so if we go to Nerd on the Street, something that had good audio so that we know that it's not <laughs> just the video. Being bad. Let's play the Displaced trailer. Can okay. you get to that one? Where's that? Is that on? It's one of the, it's four months ago, but it should, all right, there it is. So I'll play it on here first mm -hmm. and then we'll play it on there. Not sure how loud this is right now, but. So, all right, so this is with the volume all the way up. It's a portal. Isn't that a portal? I guess there's a lot of bass in know this uh, video, so. so but you can hear the dialogue and everything. Yeah, maybe not the best choice, but the, the music will start in a minute. Where do we go, genius? To the gate. What? Are you crazy? It's the only way out of here. Explosions. So we don't know who built this place. All right, or... so I'll pause it about 30 seconds in, and you can go ahead and play the first 30 seconds. So, yeah, turn yours all the way up. All right. It's a portal. Oh. Isn't that a portal? I think... It's called a Stargate. I don't know why these ancients were so invested in that. It's counting down a self-destruct sequence. I don't know. How do you think that dialogue sounds? Where do we go, genius? To the gate. I think it what? sounds a little more crazy? tinny, but it, I think it also sounds more clear. Yeah. I can tell what they're saying easier, even though it, it doesn't sound quite as So we don't full. know who built this... Your players again. Is, why the computers don't trust us? Yeah, I think mine has more base. Yeah, for sure. A remote missile has been dispatched. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's easier to hear. No. I'm going to go ahead and... Here, let's pause it right mm -hmm. here. You cut yours up. Place where it is, or why the computers don't trust us. Warning, self-destruct sequence... Yeah, I think it's easier to hear what, what they're saying <laughs> on the iPad. new advanced technology can help us progress. Who were these people anyway? So let's go ahead and turn both of these down to half volume, I guess. And then uh, see how they compare there, because I know sometimes the volume affects the quality. Oh, all right. Maybe. Oops. Okay, turn mine off. <laughs> That's one problem with having the power button right next to the... Uh... What I've noticed about your fingerprint sensor yeah. is you've got to be right like this. Well, I don't necessarily have to be when I... Uh... When I set it up, see, it works. Yeah, well, let's just, that for angle. comparison, I guess, because I don't have Yours one. is a circle. You yeah. have to have your entire finger covering the thing. Yeah. It works pretty much from from any angle. I haven't actually yeah. tried it upside down. 
So. And I think when yours doesn't work, when your fingerprint sensor doesn't work, mm -hmm. it just keeps trying until it works. Well, let me see if I like. Try well, to like put let me. My, if I try to put like just yeah, if I even like just try to put a little bit. Yeah. Of, if I if I try and do yours, then it says try again. If I keep doing that, will it lock you out eventually? Yeah. Will it let you use your fingerprint now? Let me try. Yeah, it yeah. will. All right, the first night I had this, I set it up down here. I, I wrote the password down in my notebook down here. I took it up to my room, and then I did the fingerprint thing wrong too many times, and it actually locked yeah. me out of the tablet. Would not let me try again using my fingerprint. It was asking for uh Well, I think... Let me just try this again. I'm going to use only my thumbs in here, so this won't work. If I, yeah. Let me just keep trying and see what happens because I have actually if I okay if I so it asks you for a passcode yeah. but then it will still let you try again I think I don't know put how... your thumb on it. There's not right. okay yeah. Let me go back. Okay, so maybe it did well, lock you out. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah it does. Password All right. is required. All right. Because that was one thing I thought was kind of annoying. Um, but it takes. Huh, but that seemed to take it quite a, a few. Quite a few for yours, but since mine messes up more often. Yeah. And mine certainly does mess up more often. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, let's get back to Where this. Where do you want to put it um, at? Let's go to the top and then one, two, three, four clicks down. Okay. Um, so I'm going to rewind it, kind of you know, rewind it back to 37 seconds. Just have a number. Point to failure. A remote missile has been dispatched. You are to our end. See, it's almost more uh, easier to hear now that we turn it down a little bit. Where did they go? I have no it's idea. almost so like yours was clipping. We yeah. We still need to get moving and we still need to get home. The sequence failure. A remote missile has been dispatched. You are to our ends. The mission is to find new advanced technology that can help us progress. Who were these people anyway? Where did they go? I have no idea. Sorry. We are a research team, Joel. We still need to get moving and we still need to get home. I feel like mine is equalized mm -hmm. more for like... Like I said, it's got more bass. Maybe, maybe better for music or games. I, yours, I feel like, is equalized better for dialogue because mine. Yeah. There was music in the background of that video, and even though that might partially be me with my mixing, you know, I might have had the music up a little too <laughs> loud when I was editing that video. Um, I feel like mine, the music was getting in the way of the dialogue, whereas yours, you could hear the music and you could hear the dialogue clearly. Yeah. Um, so that's that's actually the first time I've ever used the speakers in this, though. Yeah, I never. I always use headphones. I, I always too. use headphones. Um, so yeah, I don't think the speakers are too big of a of a deal. Um, so yeah, what else can we uh, compare? Or is there anything else? This doesn't have to be a super long video, but um, we just kind of thought, why not? Want to run a benchmark on it? <laughs> sure. Here, open up, open up your web browser of choice, and let's do what's a good. Let's do. Uh, you want to do Peacekeeper or? I don't care. Whatever you. Peace. Uh, Peacekeeper is no longer supported. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's do browser mark. All right. So we'll do three, two, one, and then hit the play button. It's this one up here? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. All right. So we are using different browsers, which might have something to do with the browser mark test. <laughs> But um, they should be similar. You're on Wi-Fi. Yeah, good. Um, so you can see them flying through there. We can talk about some other things. Um, this has an AMOLED, a super AMOLED display in it. This has a standard Apple display in it. Um, I notice we both turn these to about half brightness, right? Yeah. I feel like this is still brighter at half brightness. I don't know how, what turning it to full brightness would do. We can try that after this is done. Yeah, yeah, it, it'll mess up these tests if you do too much, but I noticed the Android uh, does some things in the web browser, like when things, oops, I touched it. When things go off of the screen in Android, it, it scales the, the whole web page down so you see everything. Um, and also in Android, when you zoom in on a page with text, it will actually scale the text and like reformat it. I don't know if it does that on iOS. Um, so these appear to be going at sort of the same speed. We can, I guess we can wait. Oh, did yours crash? Okay. Um, so Michael's thing just stops. Did you, cl I, I didn't, didn't touch see, it. All right. Open up Chrome again. I don't know if it crashed. Uh, Chrome for iOS can't yeah, be able Chrome to Yeah, Chrome did not shut down correctly. All right. So 
The iPad mini crashed and it appears that mine might have stalled. You can see the light up buttons on the bottom of, of my tablet, that's fancy. Um, okay, well I guess that, ta oh, 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 mine's back. All right, well, while the camera's off, we were talking about a couple of other things. Um, I'm not sure why that crashed. Like I said, Chrome for iOS can be a little, eh, yeah, a little it was unstable. Um, but yeah, uh, we're both at half, half brightness. And it seems like the half brightness on this tablet is. Hey, turn yours all the way up. Let's do it. So let's both let's both load up the same picture, and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close browser mark. Um, let's load up maybe oakvillerobotics.com because that's got pictures on it. Robotics. Unless you've got a more colorful thing that we can go to. But this was just, I know, there's pictures on this. Scroll down and click on, like... Which one are we? Uh, OakvilleRobotics.com is literally the domain. Uh, okay. There's no spaces in domains. I know, it did have it. <laughs> so I'm going to load up the first picture here. And this picture was taken with the Panasonic Lumix FZ1000, which is what we are recording this video with. Um, now, one thing with turning the screen brightnesses all the way up is... You guys probably are not going to see the actual representation of the screens. Um, usually when, when I'm recording videos with screens in them, the screens look best on camera if they're about halfway up. Uh, so Michael finally got that <laughs> typed in. And go ahead and uh, find the first picture there. And if we load that up, then we can compare. Okay. Won't even let you zoom out. That's All right, weird. well, let me go ahead and zoom in then. And... I think, like, you can see the yeah, yellow his, his on his shirt is a more vibrant. Um, this red the looks reds, about the same. Yours I, I is think a the little red brighter. is a little, yeah, a little brighter. I think the whites might Go be. Go to the cabinets. That'll be a good one. It's the, yeah. Yeah, so mine, this is more colorful. That's because of the, um, Samsung uses Super AMOLED displays. They are known for their saturation. A lot of color in them. Um, now, what's interesting about this is I've actually got separ uh, several modes that I can turn this on. For instance, reading modes. So now these might look a little more similar, maybe not a whole lot more similar. But um, if I open up a book, like open up the Nook app. All right, so I've got a, a Nook app here, and I'm in the middle of a book. But you can see this is white text. I've got white on black going. And then if I turn on reading mode, then it will actually kind of slightly yellow. Do you see how the color's a little bit different? Yeah. So it's a little easier on the eyes. Um, so even though this is a Super AMOLED display, some people actually don't like the Super AMOLED displays. They don't like that the color is more saturated. Um, you can see on the camera that the color's a little more saturated. Well, how do you think the blacks compare? I feel like uh, the blacks might be a little more black, too. Yeah, it definitely is. It's kind of... Yeah. Um... So yeah, I don't think they actually changed the screen in the iPad Mini since this version, or do you think they have? I do not know. Um, I'm not it sure. It wouldn't surprise me if they didn't. Yeah, um, but yeah, I do know that that's because of the Super AMOLED display in this. Um, so I actually had not noticed that it was particularly vibrant, but now comparing it side by side, that is interesting that uh, this is more colorful. If you Like if you go in this blue box on this desk, yeah, you can definitely tell. You can also definitely tell uh, about where the quality of the Lumix seems to cap out. But yeah, you can you can tell the colors. Even the yellow yeah. is a little more yellow. Um, so yeah, some good? people like that, some people don't. I like the, the more saturated colors. But yeah, and we, we can also see here the sort of the quality of the displays, but it, I know it's harder for you guys to see. I think both of these look pretty sharp. Yeah. Because um, like I said, this is 1440p in an 8-inch screen, and this is I'll put the resolution of the retina screen up. But um, yeah, both of these have pixels mm -hmm. smaller than you can see. So it's not that this looks bad, good. it just doesn't look yeah. as bright. Yeah, it it I feel like that would be easier on the eyes for reading and for surfing the web for long periods of time. Um, but yeah, I do find myself using the reading mode on this. Um, if I go into the settings, you can pull up your settings so that we can compare settings, I guess. But um, settings. If I go into the display section of my settings, we both have dual panel settings. Um, screen mode, see I've got the AMOLED cinema, so this is for watching videos, AMOLED photo for watching pictures, basic would be, I don't know, 
reading reading you can see the yellows come out a lot more because paper tends to yellow if I turn this on to basic let's go back to the the picture now and see if while this is on basic if it looks more similar oh it, it deloaded I closed the app habit see I think they look yeah, similar it now. looks a lot a lot similar um, so yeah, you can adjust the saturation on. I will say though, if you look at the screen box, it's still a little bit. Yeah, it's still yeah. a little more vivid. Maybe not a little bit. Not much. Yeah, but I do like that you have the ability to turn that Super AMOLED technology on and off. Definitely very nice. So yeah, that's I don't know the the screens, the uh, speakers, and just the general over overview of the hardware. That's everything I had necessarily planned for this. Anything else? Oh, nothing you can really think comes of. to mind. Um, yeah, both of these are really great tablets. We just thought, since these are two direct competitors, we thought we would take a look at them. And, yeah. So that is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S2 8.0, which is a mouthful, and the iPad Mini 2, which is a lot easier to say. <laughs> uh, let me turn that alarm off so it doesn't go off whenever it was set for. Okay. Don't want 5.30 tomorrow. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's everything, I guess, for this video. So we'll see you guys next time. I'm Jacob Kaufman. Michael Chanel. And we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.